Hi everyone, this is Jen at Making the Photo. Today we're rolling up our sleeves to dive into the latest AI image generation tools and updates. ChatGPT is turbocharged, GenMode elevates AI video generation, and Wirestock swaps some faces. Meanwhile, Google's image search becomes Google image generation, and Midjourney revolutionizes style customization. So fire up your devices and get your creative juices flowing, and let's explore these innovative tools that are expanding our horizons. First up, ChatGPT got a facelift. It's now ChatGPT for Turbo. The new all-in-one interface combines tools like Dolly 3 and the Bing browsing, eliminating the need to switch chats. With image uploading, you can ask ChatGPT to describe an image, write alt text, or use the image as part of an image prompt. The new seed parameter is a game changer, offering reproducible outputs and ensuring consistent results from the model. The new 128K context window can tackle over 300 pages of text, which is ideal for scripting complex content. And with improved function calling, GPT-4 Turbo can now handle complex instructions better. You can tell it to do multiple things in one go. Plus, there's a customizable ChatGPT tool on the horizon for tailored applications. Video creation just got a little bit easier with Genmo Replay's newest update. Genmo AI unveiled an upgrade to their text to video AI generator, Replay version 0.2. This new version amps up the creative power with videos up to six seconds long. The videos are crisper and have higher resolution. With fine-tuned controls, you can adjust timing, aspect ratio, and camera motion. Replay version 0.2 also lets you generate video straight from an uploaded image. There is even a preserve control slider for fine-tuning image influence on your video generation. Version 2 also has fewer distorted faces and trippy artifacts, meaning smoother and more detailed video results. Genmo Replay is free to try with credits that replenish daily. Upgrading to Genmo Turbo removes watermarks and enables commercial use. To get started, go to the website and type in a text prompt, or just roll the dice for a random prompt. You can turn your wildest ideas into video masterpieces. Wirestock, a platform that simplifies selling your photos and illustrations to stock agencies, has now rolled out some new AI tools. In addition to creating AI images with Wirestock, you can now do a face swap, and it's super easy. Open the face swap tool and upload an image. The program automatically finds human faces in the image. Upload an image with a new face and use it as a replacement. And if there's more than one, you can choose which face to use as a replacement. Now click Apply. Wirestock's Face Swap tool opens up exciting possibilities for diversifying stock photography. But the ease of swapping faces can be a double-edged sword, potentially leading to the creation of deep fakes. As of now, the tool doesn't seem to have limitations or prevent misuse. Google updated its Search Generative Experience, or SGE, to include an AI image generator. This lets you generate images directly from Google Search. The update rolled out at the end of October for some US users, with a wider launch beginning in mid-November. This feature, powered by Google's Imogen family of models, is designed to create specific images that are more relevant to your search queries but image quality lags behind Dolly 3 and Midjourney. You can try this tool through the Generation website, and this is where you can see your gallery of images. When the feature is fully rolled out, you'll be able to trigger image generation by prompting Draw or Create directly in the Google search bar. Google will block images that depict harmful, misleading, or explicit content. Prompts with notable people won't be created, and SEG will not generate photorealistic faces. The tool is free, but there are daily limits. And finally, Midjourney's latest innovation, the Style Tuner tool. This marks a significant leap in AI-assisted art generation by introducing a novel visual method for users to express their stylistic preferences. This tool provides a seemingly infinite array of artistic styles by allowing you to select from pairs of images. 
each choice fine-tuning the AI's understanding of your taste. These selections are converted into a distinctive style code that you can apply to any mid-journey prompt. Your unique style is reflected in the generated images. Here's how it works. In Discord, launch the tuning tool by typing slash tune into the message bar. Now enter a prompt. This creates a style tuning tool with pairs of images. Select the images that you like. Your unique preference selections generate a code. This code is used to style future prompts. Enter the prompt again or use any other prompt. And at the end, type dash dash style and paste in your style code. With these steps, Midjourney Style Tuner lets you craft a personalized touch to AI-generated images. It's been a dynamic few weeks in AI art. The landscape is rapidly evolving with tools that are enhancing our creative potential. From ChatGPT's Turbo Mode to Midjourney's Style Tuner, the possibilities seem endless. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel to go deeper into these updates in future videos. I'd love to hear which of these advancements has sparked your imagination the most. Drop a comment below and let's discuss the future of AI image generation. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of your AI artistry. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.